to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sky, and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. I am so excited about today's video because we are continuing to decorate our home for fall. The weather here in Charlotte, North Carolina is not even close to cooler fall temperatures, but we are just pretending in our nice cozy home that it is fall. We are so ready for the change of season over here and we are so excited to just bring some of this beautiful fall decor into our home. I don't know why but just decorating for a new season just makes me so happy and fall and Christmas season are my two favorite seasons to decorate for. So I am just so ready. I'm so ready. We need some joy. We need some happiness in our homes in 2020. And this is just one small way that we can do that. So today I'm going to be sharing two tiered tray styling ideas. And then I'm also going to be sharing some new arrivals from house and home and some popular restocks. These are some really, really, really good, beautiful items. I'm so excited to share with you guys. So we are going to start with those. Okay friends, so before I share this first piece with you guys, I do want to just put a little disclaimer out there and just say we get messages and comments all the time saying that you guys missed the video and you're so bummed out because now everything's sold out. I just wanted to remind you guys that there is a notification bell that you can turn on. Make sure you do that and make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on these decor hauls when I share them. We do have a limited quantity of everything that we order. We are still a pretty small, small business. And we are growing at rapid rates right now. We're trying to keep up. We're trying to increase our order quantities and all of that so that there's plenty of beautiful house and home goodness to go around for everyone. But I just wanted to tell you that tip, turn that notification bell on because it will really help you guys know exactly when things are going live on our site. And then you'll get to see everything like up close and personal and in detail on our YouTube core haul. All right, enough of that. Let's get right into this. I'm going to start with something I think a lot of you are probably really excited about because we got a zillion out of stock requests for this. This is our boxwood wreath. This is just absolutely stunning. I'm planning to decorate my tiered tray with this today and I have these in my kitchen. These sold out in just a couple of minutes last time. We've ordered a pretty large quantity but I have a feeling they're going to go pretty quickly because they are little mini wreaths. Um, you can style these in so many different ways and you can use multiple of them when you're styling. So I know last time a lot of you purchased several of these and I hope you guys will send me pictures. Go over to our Instagram page at House and Home and send us pictures of how you are styling your house and home decor in your house. I absolutely love when you send me pictures. That's one of my favorite things. We get people sending in emails and comments on Instagram all the time and it is so fun to see a little bit of house and home in your home. So this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's got lots of rust colors, some beautiful um, yellows and golds. It's just absolutely gorgeous. There's even a little bit of burgundy. It's just beautiful. I want to make sure you guys can see it nice and up close. But we also restocked a bunch of our candles. You guys blew us away. We were shocked by how quickly all of the seasonal candles sold out and we are so happy to have them back in stock. So we got the amber glass cinnamon rolls. This one is just so delicious, you guys. It smells amazing, just as you would imagine. And then we also grabbed more of the farmhouse. This one is so good. It reminds me of like an apple pie baking in the oven. It seriously is just like such a cozy scent. And then of course it would not be fall without a pumpkin spice candle. This is my favorite one. I will save you guys from my spiel, but I love it so much. If you've seen any of our past fall videos, you guys know that it seriously smells like a little slice of fall heaven. 
Oh, it's so good. Okay, so for those of you who are decorating with amber glass this year, we also restocked our all-purpose cleaner bottle. These come empty and you can put your favorite cleaners in here. I know I've told you guys before that we love to use Thieves Cleaner. We just use one cap full of the Young Living Thieves Cleaner and it goes in the entire bottle with water. So it's super diluted and lasts forever, which I love. If you guys ever want me to share a link for that, I am happy to, but it is is seriously the best. I know that a lot of the um, companies like Mrs. Myers and so many other ones you see at Target are coming out with really, really um, just amazing smelling fall scents. So you could always get one of those and just get rid of that container and put it in something nice and pretty to have on your countertop. So we did get more of the multi-surface cleaner and the all-purpose cleaner as well. So two of them to choose from. And just because I know I'm probably gonna get a ton of questions in the comments about the um, dish, soap and hand soap amber glass dispensers that we used to carry in our shop. You guys, I'm like so bummed out. Our vendor just stopped selling them. And so now I'm like frantically searching for someone because I know you guys love them so much and we get questions daily about them. So I'm trying so hard. I really want to get those in for you guys. If you happen to know of like an Etsy shop that does wholesale, um, send them my way, or maybe you are an Etsy shop out there um, that sells these wholesale. Just let me know, but these are so cute and so perfect to have sitting out on your kitchen or your bathroom counter. We did also get in a new dish towel set. This one is so cute. It comes in a um, like an ivory stripe and then also this charcoal stripe, and they are sold together as a set, and they've got this really cute ruffle detail on the edges. I think these are so cute and would be perfect for a little farmhouse kitchen. I love that they're neutral so they can go with pretty much any decor um, and definitely like I feel like this striped like charcoal color is kind of like that ticking stripe you see on pillows a lot and is very farmhousey and also works perfect for fall. Our Simple Blessings napkin set is also back in stock. And I know a lot of you were so excited about this set when I shared it a couple of weeks ago. It is such a good one. So it comes with a set of four napkins and they each have a different little prayer on them. And I just love them. This one says, thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything, amen. I won't read all of them for you because chances are you probably saw that video and already saw them but I will link them down below so you can see what each one of them says these are great for setting out a little tablescape for the holidays um, it's just such a thoughtful kind of like keepsake um, collection of items to have and it does match perfectly with our simple blessings table runner if you were able to snatch one of those when we had them in stock they are back out of stock right now but but we have pre-ordered a bunch of them, so we should be getting them in about a month. We also restocked our Hello Pumpkin apron. This one has been so popular. You guys have loved it. It is just such a beautiful, natural linen material. It says Hello Pumpkin at the top and then has adjustable straps for you to put um, around your neck and then two big pockets in the middle here and then you have these adjustable straps on the back as well it is one size fits most um, and it definitely is just such a cute piece i have mine hanging in my dining room when i'm not wearing it and i think it is just stylish to have hanging on a little hook displayed in your home Speaking of aprons, we also got another apron from the same shop, so it's the same material, and it's just absolutely beautiful, but it says, Mom's Baking Co. Fresh bread, biscuits, and pies made with love, and I think this is perfect heading into um, baking season this fall and this Christmas. I'm going to actually try this on for you guys so that you can kind of get an idea for how it fits. 
So I wear a medium or a large in most tops and I was able to wrap the strap around and then come back to the front and still have room to tie it. So if you're just tying it in the back, I really feel like this would fit um, several different body shapes. And again, it actually has three pockets in the front, not two. So plenty of room to have your recipe card, a little wooden spoon, your phone, if you're using that for your recipe or whatever it may be. Um, but it really is just such a functional and like super cute piece to have um, in your kitchen. And how fun would it be to be able to wear this when you're hosting over the holidays? Hopefully everyone is gonna be able to be back to that life, we'll see. But um, yeah, such a good piece, I love this one. Okay friends, so the last piece I wanna share with you is this beautiful mango wood tray. This is absolutely gorgeous. I just love all of the wood tones in this tray. I love mango wood. I feel like it's just so beautiful. And I think this would be so pretty for setting out some of your fall decor on here. You could put candles on here. You could put um, little fall stems on here, just different little decorative fillers. You could, um, put little pumpkins on here. I mean, there's so many different little ways that you could use this tray um, to display your seasonal goods. And of course it transitions nicely into Christmas as well. So this is just one of those staple pieces that you could have in your home. And it also would be so functional and beautiful in your kitchen as well. So many of you probably saw my recent Target fall decor haul. I snatched up this beautiful little tiered tray. It was from the Hearth and Hand collection and I just loved how neutral it was. And I also love the wooden tones in this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a piece that I'm gonna be able to keep out year round and just swap out my decor with the season. So let's go ahead and decorate this tray. So I really don't think there's a hard and fast rule or way that you need to decorate a tiered tray. You can just have fun with it and do what you like. I thought it would be really fun to incorporate one of those preserved boxwood wreaths on here. I love the color of that wreath so much. So I decided to put a little pumpkin inside. I thought that was so cute and just perfect for that bottom tier. And then I have my Mama Needs Jesus mug that is from our shop and I thought that would be cute to put on the top and if you guys saw my last video where I decorated our hutch for fall I shared that I like to kind of decorate diagonally I feel like this helps me balance everything out different colors and different textures different sizes as I am decorating so I got this little pumpkin in the Target dollar spot. There were only a couple, so I had to snatch them up. And of course, you guys know that I love this little amber glass vase from the Hearth and Handline at Target. And then I had to come in with a candle and a few more pumpkins. You can see here that I ended up actually pulling the stem off of the bottom pumpkin. These are just from Hobby Lobby and if you pull, the stem will actually just come right out. That way I could stack them and I think it's just cute and adds a little bit of height and dimension to that space. And then here's my little farmhouse candle. I think that just finishes this off perfectly. It's not too much and not too little. I think it just turned out great and I love it. So this is what we are working with on this side of the kitchen and fun fact if you guys didn't know these walls used to be textured walls they were such a mess it was awful the cabinets were like a yellow color we came in and replaced all the lighting all of the um, fixtures we replaced we painted the um, cabinets of course added new hardware we're working on saving up so we can get new countertops 
Um, I love a white marble in here. I think that would be just so beautiful, like a white marble or a white quartz. Um, we took down some cabinetry and Chad built me this beautiful shelf, which we actually have a DIY for. And then we, um, of course, added all of the shiplap and sprayed that. So and over the last six months, this kitchen has been totally transformed um, from what it looked like before. And I'll try to sneak in a picture of that before shot for you guys so that you can see what it looked like. And then here is that beautiful little tea towel that I just showed you guys that comes as a set with this charcoal stripe. I think this one's so pretty and the colors are just perfect in my kitchen right now. I love the character of it with that ruffle on the bottom. I think it's so cute. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at my coffee bar and then let's go ahead and move on to the tear tray. So here's the coffee bar. You can see that um, it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. It's a pretty small space, so I couldn't um, do too terribly much in here. Even at this, I feel like it's kind of crowded, but um, you guys are seeing real life with the paper towels snuck behind there. I always try to hide them. <laughs> um, so here is just our cute little rack with our um, mugs from Ikea. And then, of course, there's still coffee in the pot from this morning, you guys. What was I thinking not drinking that? <laughs> and then I just got this little chalkboard um, from Hobby Lobby, I think, a while back and just wrote coffee bar on it. And then we do have these coffee, tea, and sugar little canisters that are in our shop. So this just kind of ties in again, those darker colors. I think the amber glass is just so beautiful. I know you've heard me say it a million times, but I'm really loving it. So let's decorate this tiered tray. I just love this tiered tray. I think it fits our kitchen perfectly and just really fits the style. We do still have a few left in our shop, so I'll make sure to link that below for you guys. I had to put another candle on this one. I just feel like you have to have a candle on a tiered tray. I know I said there's no hard and fast rule on decorating them, but it is just the perfect place to um, style one of your candles. So here you can see I'm adding in some dishes. I love to use white dishes and then pops of color with other um, things but I think it would be fun to add in like some seasonal mugs or bowls and then of course I added some pumpkins and this is our recipe block from house and home and then the amber glass bud vase is from our shop as well okay so here is my finished product again I just went with a simple look here I didn't want to overdo it and make this space feel super crowded. So I just went with three things on the top and three on the bottom. I just feel like it doesn't look cluttered this way. I know that I definitely probably could have added more. And the one thing I will say that I actually do plan on doing is in this little white pitcher that I have here, I want to add in some mini wooden spoons. And when I was at Target last, I think I saw some in the Hearth and Hand collection. So I am going to pop back over there and pop those in just to tie in those wood tones up top as well. But I think it turned out so cute and it's just really so simple. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, those two ideas for how you could decorate a tear tray for fall this year.
today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you were sitting there drinking your coffee with me and getting to enjoy a little bit of time. I hope this was relaxing for you to watch as well. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Please hit that subscribe button so you can see more weekly videos from our channel. Next week, we're going to be decorating my living room. I have a few DIYs for you guys, and I'm also going to have some more new arrivals from House and Home, so you won't want to miss it. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.